This woman, I answered her comment in a previous show. So she had commented under a video I did called, she never initiates text, is she pulling away? And the way she had worded it, I couldn't tell if she was agreeing with me or not. So she wrote, so I, I commented on what she said. And then suffice to say, she agreed with me and, pretend, and, and was talking about how basically like I say, you should look for women to initiate text more so than you. Like for every three texts that she initiates, you initiate one. The exception being that you're always going to be the one to initiate for purposes of asking for a date. So when you do, you take her on a date, show her a good time, wait a few days, and then you text her. That first text back should be like, hey, long as you know time, we'd love to take you out, you know? So anyway, so she responded from that. She said, hey, I'm the girl that left you that message on your old video. I agreed with that video. But regarding after meeting with a guy, I would never send a message to a guy after a date even if the date was amazing. I would be waiting for the guy to text me and then I would reciprocate. I can totally help myself and have self-control even if I'm crazy about a guy. I need the guy to text me first uh, for the first months. I struggle initiating. I prefer to reciprocate and I don't like the guy to text me after five days of a great date. I prefer he texts me the next day to check on me and then I will start to text him back and talk more. We need to feel safe I'm not asking a guy to text me nonstop, but I need to see he is interested in me initiating conversations so I can feel safe and then start initiating conversations. Please don't misunderstand a woman just because she does not initiate text. There's a lot to unpack here. So I want to start off by saying this. All the advice and stuff that I give you guys is based on my experience. And I always believe that as, as, as right as I think I am, ultimately your experience may vary. So if this is a woman that is saying that her experience is that she doesn't like these things and whatever, I have to take her at her word, right? So we'll do that. In my personal experience of dating women, and I've dated a lot of women, right? I can safely say that most of what she's saying here does, it does not matter when the woman has high interest in a guy. As a generality, she may be the outlier. I can't give you guys advice based on like an anomaly, right? I have to give you guys advice based on what I find to be generally true of what works when you're trying to date women. So I'm going to go through her message, right? So she says, she says, after meeting a guy, I would never send a message to a guy after a date. Even if the date was amazing, I would be waiting for the guy to text me and then I would reciprocate. So in her case, that could be true. In my personal experience, dating women that have a high interest in me, I have found if I take them on a good date and show them a great time and then I walk them back to the car, give them a hug. Hey, I had a great time. Get home safe. Boom. I have found that assuming the first date was successful, usually before I get home, I'm talking like it might be a 30 to 45 minute drive from the date spot to when I get home. By the time I've gotten home, I'll usually get a text from her saying, hey, thanks again for the great night. I had a great evening. So she could be the one person that needs that wants a guy to text her after a date. I have found as a generality that more often than not, if a woman had a good time on a date and you've started to build proper high interest, you don't have to do that. Like she's going to be the one to reach out because, and I've said this on the show before, when women find that they, they really connect with the guy because that doesn't happen to them every day, however they generally do things changes because a guy that she's just kind of middling interested in, okay, well, I'll hit, hit him up when I hit him up. A guy that she's like, oh my God, he's like five star. She wants to be in front of you to make sure that you don't try to choose somebody else instead of her, okay? Again, my personal experience. Continuing on, when she said, um, uh, I can totally help myself and have self-control even if I'm crazy about a guy, honestly, my thought would be she has not met a guy that she's completely head over heels in. Now, granted, to be, to be fair, some women have been brought up to believe that, hey, if uh, I need to have the guy being a troll, and so when the guy wants to see me, he'll hit me up and don't be that overly thirsty girl that's going to hit him up. So leave all the texting to him. So this could be that woman. But this is, this is why I stress you guys, even those kind of women, right? They just want to hear from you. So whether you text her the day after or you text her four days from now, if she has built a high interest in you after that first date, she will not care when you hit her up. I've literally gone on dates with women where I took on a date and then it was like, oh, I got to go out of town for two weeks and I don't hit them up for two weeks and I get back. Hey, I'm back in town. Let's go out. And they're like, oh, absolutely. So I stress this because she's right in the sense that like, you know, even if she's crazy about a guy, she wants him to text first. But that doesn't mean the texting first has to happen right away. Because when she has high interest, she's just looking to be talked, to be reached out 
uh, from you whenever you can to make another date happen. Uh, when she says, um, I need to, the guy to text me first for the first few months. And that's, I didn't disagree with that. I actually think the guy should be the one to text me first after four days or five days of waiting after that date. So the guy, in, in effect, is still going to text first. If she's a woman that doesn't want to text first, that's totally fine. There are some women that will have high interest and won't necessarily want to be the ones to text first because they fear they're going to be too thirsty. That's totally fine. You as a guy, keep it on the same program. You text to ask her on a date. You take her on a date, show her a good time, go away for a few days, and then repeat. And most sane women that have a high interest in you will not be mad that they didn't hear from you. They may have wanted to hear from you, which we'll get into in a second, right? But they're not going to take it out on you for not reaching out for those three or four days because when you reach back out, you ask for a date, which is really all they wanted. Um, she says, uh, I struggle initiating and, and I don't like the guy to text me after five days of a great date. Listen, this has been, listen to this carefully, right? I prefer he texts me the next day to check on me and then I will start to text him back and talk more. Now, She's saying she would prefer that. In other words, she wants him to text. But what I've said before is this, is that sometimes, this is weird to say, sometimes in the dating realm of things, her wanting you to do something is a more powerful way to build interest than actually giving her what she wants. So if you go four or five days without texting her, that whole time she's what? I want her to text him. Why isn't he texting me? I really thought we had a good time on a date. What's been going on? Why isn't he? Is he seeing somebody else maybe? I don't know what's going on with him. He's very mysterious. Oh my God. That keeps you on her mind for five days straight. And if she's thinking about you, the subconscious part of her is saying, but why do I want him to text me so badly? It must be because I'm interested. So ultimately, for the most part, you don't lose points. There are some women out there that if you hit them up, after four or five days, and you say, hey, I'm going to go with you on another date. And their response is going to be, why did you hit me up, blah, 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 blah. Guys, don't date those women. Because as much as you think it's a compliment to you that she wants to see you, the reality is she's coming at you very abrasively. And because what she's thinking is, you didn't hit me up for four or five days because you're trying to play games and you're not that interested. But your first text back to her was, you're asking her out, which means you were interested. So those are women that are in their feelings and they can't handle like, a guy being patient and you want to, you want to actually test this out. This is an example of like, for those of you guys that are thinking like, Oh my God, like, you know, waiting four or five days to call the game playing. This is an example of how you test a woman to see if she has patience and more importantly, if she can handle not getting her way. She wanted you to contact her for in those three or four days, but you didn't. How is she going to respond to that? When you, when you text her up, is she, she going to respond by saying, it's just so great to hear from you again. I'd love a second date. Or is she going to be, but you should have texted me and blah, 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 blah. I got news for you. Those are the kind of women that are going to cause fights later about other dumb stuff that you don't want to deal with. So use that as a way to test women early on. Give them the gift of missing you and a feeling that anxiety and frustration of not hearing from you and wondering what it means and you being mysterious and you being able to go in there later on and give her what she wanted anyway, which was another date. And I'm going to tell you too, I have found if you wait between dates to contact a woman, and she's like building up anticipation to see you again. When she sees you again on a date, I can assure you, you're going to get farther along with her in whatever way you need that to mean than you would have had you been pestering her every single day. I'm just saying. But hey, if that's game playing, so be it. Your results may vary. I found that giving myself time and giving her time between dates to not hear from me usually worked out in my favor and eventually led to a relationship. So you don't have to do that. But if you're struggling, it's probably because you're thinking, I got to text her after the date. I got to text her every single day. I got to be in front of her face because this is what she wants. Giving women what they want all the time can result in you not ever getting what you want. So just keep that in your head, right? So then she says, we need to feel safe. I'm not asking a guy to text me nonstop, but I need to see he's interested in me. He, he's interested in me initiating conversations so I can feel safe and then start initiating conversations. So she's trying to make the parallel of in order to feel safe, I need a guy to text me a lot. And that is a misread that women have. They Because they think they're trying to figure out, okay, some women honestly don't know how their feelings build for a guy. They just know that some guys are doing it better than others. And so a lot of guys, girls start to believe, well, I need a guy to text me all the time in order to feel things, in order to talk to him more, in order to get to know him so I can trust him a lot faster. And having conversations is one way to build trust. But a lot of, for them, building trust is, 
the feelings that they're having about you. When you take her on a good date and then you don't talk to her for a minute, then what happens is she has to go, she only can go based on how you made her feel on that date. If you made her feel great on that date, then she's trusting that when she sees you again, you're going to make her feel the same way. When you talk to her again, you're going to make her feel the same way. And so whether it's the next day or four or five days from now, it's not going to matter as long as when you hit her up again, that she's still getting those same feelings. And that's not a feeling that you can have. You can have all the conversations in the world with a girl. That's not going to make her suddenly trust you enough to want to date you because there's a trust building is a factor into building attraction to you, but there's also other things, right? And so conversation helps, but other things beyond just building trust, like again, are you having, is she having a fun time with you? Do you make her laugh? Does she feel her when she, when you talk, when she talks to you about stuff, like those other things are important. So if the conversation part isn't there by way of you not texting her all the time, but then you get her on a date and you're making her laugh, feel heard, all these other things, that's going to weigh more heavily than, oh, what you didn't text her for a couple of days. All right. So I'm saying, I'm not saying anything here uh, negates what she's saying or how she experiences dating. I'm saying she is an anomaly and I can't give advice based on anomalies when in my experience, I have found that being more patient and not texting a lot and waiting for them to initiate usually gets me better results. Maybe some of you guys have experienced this, maybe not, but either way, I'm saying that's my experience. So I have to go off of that. If you have been able to successfully as a guy, text a woman nonstop and be able to get her interested, then kudos to you. The comments and the, the messages that I get from men complaining about the fact that they're doing that all the time and not getting the results says to me that that's not typically what's going on. That's all I'm saying, guys. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class.